Florida is humid as hell. But he, hell's not really humid. Hell's like really hot, so that doesn't really work. So <laughs> Florida is humid as in a pair cup. No, you gotta do it. That's not gonna work either. <laughs> you gotta be PG or it's gonna get out. How about Florida is one of the most humid states in the United States of America, causing intense amounts of rust. Right? We gotta care for our armor. Super important. This is what I've done. Lesson 101. Well, afternoon. This is Chris with the Florida Fire Drakes. Today we're gonna talk about armor and armor care. So what we're looking at here is a, a piece of armor, leg armor that uh, is one of our kits and was not cared for. So if you can see here, our, most of our armor is made of steel. All that fun rust color stuff is exactly what that is. It's rust, which is damaging to the armor. It weakens the armor and ages the kit far quicker than it needs to be. So this, it, the right way to do this is when you use it in any aspect or any shape or fashion is to clean it, get the oil, get all the rust off, and then oil it down and keep it nice and in great shape. Right. It'll protect you about as good as it's gonna do when, with like, you taking care of the armor itself. So it's super important to make sure you take care of it. What we're seeing here is we had a show a couple days ago, wait, week ago. Wow, was it really a week ago? Yeah. Week ago. So <laughs> one right. of our fighters decided that it would be a great idea to not clean their entire kit, put it back into storage, and then we opened it up today and the entire kit is rusted. So what does that do? That takes away resources from the team. That takes away time. So you see all these individuals around me right now, Coach Chris, Andrew, everybody here right now, they're all having to clean this individual's armor because they didn't have the respect for the team to do it themselves. This is not something we appreciate here at the Fire Drakes. The armor takes care of you as long as you take care of it. So for us, we've got to use some Brillo pads. Who's got a, Andrew, you got a pad real quick? Like this? which allows us to basically sand the rust off and then we wipe it down with T9 and then we use some three in one oil to get rid of some super stubborn spots. Um, but again, it's all based around caring for your armor. These kits are super expensive. You know, everybody knows they're anywhere between four to $6,000 a piece, depending upon the kit. Not a good way to treat your armor. But we'll, uh, we'll come back and talk about all kinds of things on a weekly, bi-weekly, however often we do it. And we're glad you guys tuned in. We hope that you keep checking us out.